Paris Hilton inherited her last name from a family known for its global hospitality brand. Yes, I'm talking about that Hilton, the chain of full-service hotels and resorts that's across six continents. The Hiltons own hotels all over the world, right? Yes, they're New York, London, Paris. Oh, wait, so there actually is a Paris Hilton? Yes, there is. Is the Paris Hilton roomy? It might be for you, but most people find it very comfortable. <laughs> Hotels are not the only legacy the Hiltons have created, though, because this family also has a long and storied history of gold diggers, fame seekers, and savage schemers. And to show you what I mean, we need to take a look at the family tree of the Hot Mess Hiltons. Let's start with the accomplished patriarch of the family, Paris's great-grandfather on her dad's side, Conrad Hilton, who was the founder of the family's epic hotel empire. After Conrad struck it rich in the hospitality business, he did what wealthy people do and started hanging out with other high rollers in exclusive star-studded venues where he was known to be a playboy who attracted pretty ladies. Conrad even married a very famous actress at the time named Zsa Zsa Gabor after they met at an LA nightclub on the Sunset Strip that was known to be a hot spot for people with money and people who wanted it. It was a supper club called Ciro's, which you're already familiar with if you watched my episode on Marilyn Monroe earlier in the series. Conrad and Zsa Zsa's love story blossomed after their wedding when he got her pregnant with their first child, which she said happened after he assaulted her. Then his romantic gestures continued into their marriage because he allegedly took her on dates to a Long Island brothel where she waited while he slept with other women. But if you're feeling bad for Zsa, Zsa and the way that Conrad treated her, don't worry too much because she got her revenge by sleeping with his teenage son and her stepson throughout the couple's marriage. So y'all, there's already a whole lot of messiness going on here, but we're just getting started. Let's move one branch down in the Hilton family tree to Conrad's son, Baron Hilton, who was Paris's grandfather. Once Baron got the reins of the Hilton Hotel empire, he expanded it into an industry known for its upstanding morals and contributions to society, the casino business. He did this by buying the Flamingo Hotel on the Las Vegas Strip, which was a luxury property originally developed by Billy Wilkerson, who you also might remember from my Marilyn video. Anyway, Baron Hilton's foray into the casino arena caused the Hilton Hotel brand to become the first company listed on the New York Stock Exchange to enter the gambling market in the United States, which uncorked a flood of competitors to enter this predatory industry. Baron also flexed his moral compass when he sued his father Conrad's estate after his dad left the vast majority of his multi-million dollar riches to his foundation, which was to use the funds for charity only. Conrad had told the board of his foundation in his will that charity is a supreme virtue and the great channel through which the mercy of God is passed onto mankind. But his son Baron disagreed and thought that he should get more money. So he sued his father Conrad's estate back in the 1980s so he could get a bigger chunk of the family fortune. So that's a quick rundown of the kind of family values that Paris Hilton was exposed to on her dad's side, but the situation is just as sketchy on her mom's side. Next, let's turn to Paris's grandmother, who was known in the fam as Big Kathy. Big Kathy was reportedly a status-seeking savage who would stop at nothing to get rich, even if it meant using sex or her daughters along the way. While Big Kathy was with her first husband, she started having an affair with her second husband, who was also married at the time, but Big Kathy took care of that situation when she allegedly drugged the other woman, followed her out to her vehicle, and slammed her ankle in the car door. After that impressive conquest to snag hubby number two, Big Kathy unfortunately did not find her happily ever after because family insiders say she tried to push her second husband down a staircase and she once served his daughter a cheeseburger with a screw in it, not to mention the time she offered her mother-in-law dog food to eat. But let's move on to Big Kathy's marriage with husband number three, Jack Katane, who was a bona fide gangster with the mafia and who was convicted by the feds for a giant counterfeiting operation and was also under investigation for money laundering and extortion. 
despite Jack's criminal activities, Big Kathy didn't seem to be bothered as long as her mobster husband was raking in enough coins to buy her jewelry, a Rolls Royce, and an 8,000 square foot home. The downside to having a mafia husband though was she was gonna have a hard time hanging on to all her prized possessions after she and Jack finally split because as you would expect, Jack told her if she ever tried to come after him for alimony, he'd take care of her, and I don't mean financially. But anyway, by this point, you can see that Paris's grandmother, Big Kathy, was a woman with terrifying gumption, squarely aimed at securing her bag, and this was a quality she was determined to instill in her three daughters. This brings us to Paris's mom, little Kathy, and her two half-sisters, Kim and Kyle Richards. From a disturbingly young age, this trio of sisters was shoved into show business and groomed to impress husbands who made millions. All three of these girls were in the entertainment business as kids, and all three scored roles in big-time productions. Here's Paris's mom, little Kathy, early in her career, posing as a young girl in a photo shoot, so inappropriately revealing that I'm scared to even show it to you here on YouTube. Here's little Kathy in a later gig, making a cameo on the hit show Bewitched. Here's Paris's aunt, Kim Richards, acting in a leading role for a popular Disney movie, and here she is, guest starring on the popular series Different Strokes. And here's Paris's other aunt, Kyle, acting alongside Jamie Lee Curtis in the cult slasher film Halloween. And so you can see that all of these sisters had lured the shine of the spotlight their way long before they ever appeared on the dumpster fire that is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So how did all three of these siblings end up making it so big in the entertainment business? Well, their mother Big Kathy was reportedly a nightmare stage mom who dictated her daughter's every move in the entertainment industry to make sure that they achieved her definition of success. And when one of these sisters scored a role and brought home a hefty paycheck from an acting gig, Big Kathy allegedly spent it ASAP on her lavish lifestyle. But Big Kathy wasn't just depending on her daughter's movie jobs to pay the bills. Look, she knew how to diversify her income streams because family insiders claim that she trained her daughters in the art of scoring a wealthy man, an education that took place not in a classroom, but in a sketchy van. See, Big Kathy allegedly said she wanted her daughter, little Kathy, Paris's mom, to know how to perform sex in the best way possible. And so she recruited a young man to teach little Kathy that in his vehicle. Paris's aunt Kyle also created a show called American Woman that was based on her and her sister's childhood growing up under the critical eye of their mom, Big Kathy. And in the show, the character based on her mom fully embraces the era of sexual liberation that was ushered in by the 70s. And she even attends a swingers party. And Kyle has also shared on The Real Housewives show that when she was only 10 years old, her mom, Big Kathy, brought her and her sisters to the exclusive New York disco club, Studio 54, which was known for its rampant drug use and open sexual activities. So it was a perfect destination for a family-friendly outing. But look, don't let me be critical because Big Kathy obviously knew what she was doing with her daughters when she designed this packed curriculum of field trips to parked vehicles and dance clubs that I'd hate to see under a black light because if Big Kathy's goal was to wet her daughters off to men who made bank, then Paris's mom, Little Kathy, scored top grades when she married an heir to a hotel fortune named Rick Hilton. Unsurprisingly, Little Kathy reportedly met Rick at a party when she was only 15, but that didn't matter because it still gave her mom bragging rights, and Big Kathy allegedly once flexed that her daughters were married to men who have a total net worth of $13 billion. Once Paris' mom, Little Kathy, locked rich Rick Hilton down, she wasted no time cashing in on the perks of her new high-status role. At least that's according to family insiders and hotel employees that an author named Jerry Oppenheimer says he spoke with for his tell-all book on the Hilton family, which of course they did not authorize. Anyway, Jerry writes, as newlyweds, Kathy and Rick enjoyed pushing their weight around at various Hilton hotels across the country. He says they were prone to show up out of the blue without reservations at a Hilton hotel on a busy weekend and then demand the best suite in the house and expensive complimentary food. 
Kathy and Rick also brought their dogs, which were not allowed in the hotel, but if any of the employees tried to actually do their jobs and enforce the rules, Kathy reportedly would not hesitate to name drop and say, do you know who we are? Do you know who I am? Jerry reports that one time Rick and Kathy left their dogs alone in a suite for three days without walking them, and of course the dogs went to the bathroom all over the place in the meantime, and that left the staff to deep clean this giant mess, and a hotel manager said the couple never even said thank you, saying that's where their mindset is. They act like the imperial court. A family personal assistant agreed with this, saying that Paris's mom, Kathy, was absolutely pushy, arrogant, condescending, and presumptuous, and Paris picked that up from her. As children, Paris and her sister reportedly ran wild through the Hilton hotels while their absent parents partied it up until the girls were deemed old enough to tag along, and little Kathy painted Paris's face with makeup and started booking her for modeling gigs. Here's little Kathy and Paris strutting their stuff at a mother-daughter fashion show, and this early experience on the runway helped prepare Paris to strike a pose whenever she was in front of the camera, especially at the high society exclusive social events that she would attend with her mom and sister, where she'd serve up the perfect pouts and coy little smirks that made her a favorite feature in the New York gossip pages. So you kind of enjoy wearing the nice clothes and getting photographed. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun. But Paris and her sister Nikki's outfits were not the only reason they were getting attention because their bad behavior also got them press coverage. After one of their liquor-fueled rampages at the Sundance Film Festival, Page Six declared, note to Kathy Hilton, your teenage daughters are out of control. Harris and Nikki Hilton had been tearing through Sundance, drinking their way across Park City, leaving a trail of trash in their wake. On Saturday night, scantily clad Paris, who was 19, downed water glasses full of vodka before ransacking a room at the Hugo Boss house and stealing a guest's makeup. Later, Paris, dressed in a leopard print tuxedo with nothing underneath, danced on a metal coffee table before losing her balance and falling to the floor. On Wednesday, at another fashion event, the sisters sparked a free-for-all as, according to one witness, they piggishly stuffed bags full of clothing, even going so far as to remove samples intended for display. The clothes were meant for cash-strapped actors. In 1999, The New Yorker did an article on the Hilton sisters, calling them the littlest socialites in town, even though they were still only teenagers. The next year, Vanity Fair featured them, calling Paris an example of a hip-hop debutante. The New York Post wrote, she is, without a doubt, a parent's worst nightmare. Well, unless, of course, you are Paris's parents, Kathy and Rick Hilton. But y'all look, Paris was much more than a partying socialite because at the age of 19, she signed with a modeling agency run by one of her family's close friends, the former president himself, Donald Trump. I've known him since I'm a little girl. He's, he's a very nice man. I've known Paris Hilton from the time she's 12. Her parents are friends of mine. And you know, the first time I saw her, she walked into the room and said, who the hell is that? On TV, people like to say things about certain people, but he's actually a very sweet person. I like him a lot. Honestly, you know, Paris gets knocked and this and that, but she's very beautiful. She's she just flawless. She's, she's dumb like a fox. Trump is actually giving Paris a compliment here because dumb like a fox means sly and cunning while deliberately giving the misleading impression of being stupid or foolish. And as you're going to see, that definition is spot on. Anyway, the Hilton and Trump families go way back because, after all, they have a lot in common. Both families run global real estate franchises. Both are very into beauty and fashion, and both have ventured into the world of reality TV. In fact, here's the Hilton family presenting Donald Trump a cake, congratulating him on his show The Apprentice. Trump's daughter Ivanka was also modeling like Paris, gracing the catwalk from a young age and posing for major magazine covers. I don't need to model. My family has money and they can support me, and, but I model because I love to model. This is my last outfit, which is absolutely gorgeous. And Ivanka continued to model as she grew up, appearing in photo shoots that put her girls fully on display. And why not? I mean, we all know her daddy Donnie is clearly a guy who is cool with young ladies showing skin. For example, here he is back in the day, judging a modeling contest with teenage girls who were allegedly asked to compete by dancing for men who were old enough to be their grandfathers. 
Here's good old Donnie cheesing it up with Hugh Hefner from the Playboy Mansion, a mansion where Trump had attended parties with his daughter Ivanka, and as if that isn't weird enough already, the two of them are actually pictured here with a playmate who allegedly had a 10-month affair with Donald while he was married. Here's another shot of Trump partying with Jeffrey Epstein, a man who was charged with these sex trafficking of minors and whose little black book of contacts included no less than 14 phone numbers connected to Donald. Let's jump to another event at the Playboy Mansion that Trump and Ivanka attended, this time celebrating Hugh Hefner's turning 80 years old. And oh, look who's here, Paris Hilton, front and center on stage, singing happy birthday to Hef in the style of one of her heroes, Miss Marilyn Monroe. And look, y'all, this certainly was not the only time that Paris partied at Playboy. She was a regular at the mansion and a cozy companion of Hef's. Paris loved to show up for wild nights with her bejeweled belly button out and about, a fierce cat eye and a flirty hand shortening her skirt, or a band-aided nipple hidden behind hundreds of flashy crystals. Yes, Paris was fully honoring her family's legacy of celebrating sexuality, shamelessly flaunting her figure to the delight of photographers who were just as captivated by her sex appeal as they were by what an oxymoron she was. I mean, here we had this elite heiress, descended from the supposedly prestigious family pedigree, a young lady you might expect to be equipped with impeccable manners, taught at the finest charm schools money could buy. But instead, she seemed to spend every night out, turning it up at events, dancing in skimpy outfits, smoking cigarettes, drinking straight from the bottle, and just looking like a genuine hot mess. And I'm sure some people think that should have lost her the respect and attention of the mainstream media, but Let's be real. Ain't nobody looking at the wallflower in the corner of the room at the party. It's that train wreck who's crawling in the middle of the dance floor that we can't turn our eyes away from. And it was this reputation of glamorized rebellion and secondhand embarrassment that Paris Hilton became known for. She had jealous stands who aspired to party at her level. She had plenty of haters who thought she was acting disgraceful. But no matter which camp you were in, you saw Paris Hilton's name in the headlines, and you heard everybody around you debating whether it deserved to be there. You've been watching an excerpt from my documentary on Paris Hilton called The Queen of Clickbait Trolls. If you want to watch the rest of that video, you can click the link in the description to see the full show. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.